Are you a low-code fabric developer? Not inside of IT, not work with all those fancy GitHubs and repos and all that other stuff that everybody's so excited about. Um, but you want to organize your content. You want to be able to easily access documentation. Like, how do I do this? You know, the that Power BI developer that came in, did some stuff, documented and then breezed out. You know, you've got that out in the SharePoint site, but you just struggle to find a way to like easily navigate to it on a regular basis. On this video, we're going to show you how a previously broken feature is now back and better than ever. Oh, I can't wait to show it to you. Okay, so I'm in Power BI. I've, uh, this is the homepage or Microsoft Fabric or wherever, right? This works in any environment that you're in. So let's say I've got all my documentation out inside of my uh, Power Platform COE site. All of my files are, are out here. And I want to be able to like link this documentation and this channel easily into a Power BI report site. Well, you say, okay, I could like put in a... Uh, maybe I could bed my Power BI into, into Teams. I could do that. That's easy enough, right, through the, through the app. But what if I wanted to go the other way? Like, I wanted to go from Power BI into SharePoint. Well, okay, let's, let's take a look. So if I head over to my workspace, this is my reporting workspace, right? Like, I use this all the time, but there's a lot of reports in here. How do I document this stuff? Well, great feature. This part has been there for a while, and someone said, what the heck is this for? If you head into, and you know what, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to make this easier. If you go into workspace settings, there's this workspace OneDrive folder right here. What the heck is that? If you put this in here, what you now get inside of your navigation over here, something you're not going to see uh, on the ellipses over here, you see workspace access or settings and access. Okay, that makes sense. That's in my adventure works. And if I, my shared web content, same thing. Reseller semantic mouse, same thing. But my reports, oh, what is this? Take a look at that. That's a files button. This has been there. This was in the Power BI service for a long time, but it was broke. It's now back. Check this out. Now I just click on that and it puts me right into that OneDrive folder that I've configured. And so I've got easy access to my Power BI documentation so I could go and I could find all the data that I'm uploading and sync it in, or I could find documentation to like, how do you, you know, how do you get a refresh working again? Or, or any of those uh, like really specific functions inside of your team can be stored in here. And then it's really easy for you to bounce back and forth from within Power BI to where you have documentation. This is a small little feature, but it's one I absolutely love. So, ah, don't pay attention to that. What do you guys think? Did you know this was here? It was there, then it was gone. Honestly, I opened a ticket like in November. I didn't know what I was talking about, but thank you, Microsoft, for like, bearing with us and getting this resolved because this is one I, I, I really love this feature because it keeps those two things in sync it makes it really easy for you as as as, uh, as someone who's not in this all of the time to be able to navigate back and forth between power bi or microsoft fabric and onedrive uh, i think it's fantastic let me know what you think in the comments if you found something useful in this video make sure you like subscribe leave a comment down below let us know if there's any other topics that you want to talk about happy to do a video on those otherwise you guys have a great day peace baker tilly digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges if you're interested in learning more check out our website at bakertilly.com digital